Previously on The Potentialists. Hey guys, we're flying over Portugal right now. I just arrived to Venice, Italy. This is really amazing. The structure and... I had a little bit of food, gave it a shot. Next thing you know, there was birds everywhere. Now, we're gonna get into a gondola. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Time for the gong. All right, so I know I'm very happy to go to Venice and everything. One thing I didn't like about Venice was that I'm afraid of boats. Oh, oh, oh. Well, never been on the water? <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> we have Captain Alex. Captain Alex! The gondola ride was not what I was expecting. He started telling us about the wonders of Venice. For me, it was an amazing experience. The water was not like here in Miami, how it was a lot more clear, nicer, not much glitter. We really wanted that gondola ride with the oh so let me yo. It was really cool being able to talk to the person that was actually doing it. And these guys are in massive shape. To be able to do this for hours throughout the day, it's not easy. We had like, what, six people in the gondola and this one guy is just paddling away and having a conversation with you and smoking at the same time. But it was really neat to be able to look around at all the architecture as you're going through these streets in water. I actually really enjoyed the gondola ride. You having a good time here, Vanessa? Good move. Where's Audrey? Two! Two! We lost her twice. Dude, this is fake. Oh my god. That's fake? The yeah. bottom doesn't look fake. I want to ask the guy. That oh does look bad. fake. Did you want to try one, Dylan? Go ahead. How's it taste? Tastes like shit. No? No, I'm just kidding. It's good. I need water. You need water? Lots of sugar? Mm -hmm. We lost Audrey again. Hey, let's go to the glass place. This is actually the place where they make the Milan glass. We're gonna go to the factory. The Milan glass? Milan. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. Y'all, that's why they put that chair there. For all these stairs. <gasps> wow. Those are the ovens where they make the glass and they blow the glass. Look at the different colors and stuff. We just kept going around town asking people, oh, how do you say this? And, you know, and they talk a lot with their hands. And it's not what I was expecting. You gotta eat them cheap. <laughs> how do you curse somebody out in Italian? <laughs> how do you tell somebody when they push you? <laughs> yes, we got our word. <laughs> Bruto parola. Bruto parola. And that's what I tell somebody yes. when, when they're being rude. Bruto parola. I got my first bad word. Are you guys ready? I can't scream in here. <laughs> then somebody told me something. So we started talking to everybody and then there was this one guy who said, Senora Chilonga. You know what I mean? We're gonna find out. That's like 10 people. So you're taking a citywide search? Yeah. To find out what it means? Yeah. All right, let's see. So we went around trying to ask everybody like if they know what it meant. And nobody could tell me. And I guess it was just this guy's own gibberish. We're here in Venice at night. The lighting, the way they set it up, the, the atmosphere and the people. Even though it's not as large as I thought it was gonna be, it's really a small place. And there was this group that were like doing cover songs from the Beatles. They were called the Streetles. They went from doing some of the Beatles songs to actually just doing some new songs. The, the all of a sudden, you know, my daughter's like, oh, I should get up there and sing. And I'm like, oh, God, please, you're so freaking shy. Miles and my mom go, I dare you to go sing the song. Yeah, whatever. And I was like, okay, if I know the next song, I'll do it. And I know the next song. All of a sudden, she gets up and walks out there, and there's a couple hundred people surrounding there. So then I was just waiting, and I was like, ah. And then you see me, like, shaking, because I'm like, I don't want to do this. I look over, and I see Sabrina. Singing the song and joining them. <laughs> Bert and Audrey are like looking at her, and Miles and everybody's just freaking out that Sabrina's out there, and she starts singing really bad, may I say. But it was really fun. It was the energy she put behind that. I get like 
a crowd, like everybody starts whatever. And all of a sudden people just started clapping along with her and it was just so incredible. <laughs> it was cool and then at the end like I was trembling. Like, it was seeing I was like Ugh. Horribly. It was horrible. At the end of the day, it was really an amazing sight being able to see my daughter connecting with everyone. And when she was done, she got a round of applause. <laughs> it was a cool experience. Like I was sitting in Paris. The people sitting behind me <laughs> go and they tap me on the back. They're like, "You're a very lucky man." I'm like, "That's my sister." He goes, "The his wife turns around, and goes, well, you even lucky." <laughs> that was an experience that she'll never forget for the rest of her life. That's why I tell people you have to be crazy. You gotta do things that you probably would never do before because those are the things that change your life. If you can do something like that, what can you not do? Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?